Hopefully we're only months away from our next Rockstar game, but with this upcoming western we still don't know much about the experience we'll be getting. There have been some outlandish and bizarre theories given, and that's why today I thought we'd go over the most unpopular or theories with mixed feelings for Red Dead Redemption 2. I'll be mentioning this a lot more, but if you haven't seen, I am doing a giveaway for Red Dead Redemption 2. All you have to do is check the link in the description to enter, which also has a lot more information on it, and just honestly be an active subscriber. But also, if you have missed any of the past Red Dead Redemption 2 videos, make sure to check the link at the bottom of the description for a lot of amazing amazing news, information, leaks, and theories that you're not going to want to miss. Nonetheless, let me start by saying that many of these theories are considered to have mixed feelings or just are honestly unpopular. There's a good chance that maybe you like one of these ideas, but from a community perspective, most of these are just things that we hope Rockstar does not consider for RDR2. So the first one is vehicles or cars in the West. This has been a debatable issue going all the way back to the first installment as many players wished Rockstar had given us the option. And with this next installment, a lot of people are hopeful once again we get this. The argument I've seen is that not everybody likes to just ride a horse and they want more options for travel. Now Red Dead Redemption for the most part takes place in 1911 and John Marston even mentions that a horse is faster than the automobile at the time, which if this game is a prequel, adding vehicles would pretty much be useless. Personally, I'm okay with including a few vehicles, maybe some different types of travel like boats, I think that'd be interesting, but as long as they are only really slow and are authentic, as I believe the first automobile was made in 1886, but anything more than that would worry me as this is a western and not a Grand Theft Auto title. And that also goes with the online mode because, I mean, a lot of us are thinking, what will Rockstar games include for DLC and all kinds of other content after launch? Some people think that may be vehicles, some people think it may be different types of boats. We really don't know. I'm thinking that once we get closer to release, we get more information on what this online mode will be like, we'll get a better idea of what type of content will come afterwards, which I'm guessing maybe it's different types of outfits, weapons. That's, again, just something that we'll have to wait and see. So much for this automobile of yours. If this is the future, God help us all. And next we have is the Online Co-op Story 3. This is one that worries me the most. It's pretty much that Rockstar Games will abandon the single player and will instead put the story within the online mode. This surprisingly has caught the attention of a lot of people thinking that Rockstar may think this is the future of gaming, as Leslie Benzies, the former president of Rockstar North, believes it is. Either way to me, this sounds disastrous and I just can't see it happening. What made Red Dead Redemption amazing was the ability to enjoy the game by yourself. We all got invested into the beautiful open world with John Marsden, and putting the story in online Online would ruin that for a lot of us. Maybe if the online takes place months before the events of Red Dead Redemption 2, like Grand Theft Auto Online, including story elements, that would work, but anything more than that, I'm very skeptical about. Our next theory is multiple choosable protagonists. If you are unaware, a credible Rockstar insider who leaked Grand Theft Auto Online updates late last year with almost spot on details gave us some shocking information that Rockstar was going to have three protagonists in Red Dead Redemption 2, and they would be of Dutch's gang, and John Marston would not be one of them. Now, one theory I out there is that we would be able to choose our protagonist, which is honestly interesting, but something that concerns me as well. What made Red Dead Redemption amazing was the tale of John Marston through the West, and concentrating on three characters in RDR2 was already worrying news, as I really feel that Grand Theft Auto V's protagonist system with Michael Trevor and Franklin was a letdown, but making our characters choosable makes my concerns rise, as I really feel that it would be harder to get invested into our next protagonist. The amount of voice acting that would need to be completed would be outrageous, which is why I would imagine the story would would be short and more difficult for us to get immersed into. But again, this is a theory that could work as long as Rockstar really spends the money on this game and I just can't see them trying to spend hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars to work something out that they could just do for a lot cheaper price compared to the online, which obviously doesn't cost much. Now the last theory today is that Red Dead Redemption 2 is a sequel. There are a lot of people that take issue with this next installment being a prequel. I believe that a sequel has to be for RDR2. This theory is a little bit more complex as some want this game to follow Jack Marston into World War 1 and some want this to take place in modern day. So to start with Jack Marston in World War 1, well that just isn't what Red Dead is about. This is a series about the Wild West and I think there is another interesting theory that's more likely where Jack could be the writer or author behind this series and also Red Dead Redemption was about the dying west, moving any bit forward wouldn't really make much sense. Now this allows me to shift right into this Game Radar's article who titled this theory, Forget the Old West Partner, Red Dead Redemption 2 Should Be Set in Modern Day. Yeah, no. There's actually one other western game that did this before and that about destroyed the franchise and that was Call of War as the Cartel. Not a very good game. 
and I should add it was published by Ubisoft. The only argument that I really want to make for this is that if you don't care for the Western Red Dead series, then play Grand Theft Auto, because what made Red Dead Redemption amazing was the actual era, the history, and everything that's going on around that time. Moving this to modern day just would honestly ruin this. Anyway gang, let me know down in the comment section below your opinion on some of these theories and whether or not you think any of them could happen, but if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value, make sure to smack that like button and consider subscribing as I'm your best source for everything to do with this upcoming Red Dead title, and remember, Outlaws to the end.